Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What up? Of course, once again, it's your boy, T. I hope y'all been doing good. I just came back from seeing Black Adam, and woo, I really enjoyed that film. I didn't do a review on it, because a lot of people did, but I really enjoyed it. I gave it a three out of five. Uh, you go to my podcast and listen to my review, and you'll hear my review of that. But what we are here for, we're here to see a little... Bernie Mac, animated, and um, we will go. We will give you the link to the original video in the description box. But it's Milk and Cookies, one of his most iconic skits from uh, the late great Bernie's uh, Kings of Comedy tour, and uh, I would love to see it with you guys. And if you do like it, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and come back and, and join us. And please go to this guy's channel as well, which is Sketch One Up. Great channel. Uh, please support the guy and the people there. So without further ado, uh, if you uh, come along with us and watch this in five, four, three, two, one. Let's check out what they got going with this skit and see how they take a spin on it. Let's see. I said, didn't I tell your punk ass boy he couldn't handle goddamn cook? Now I'm telling your short ass, he can't handle no goddamn milk cookies. Get your punk ass up there before you get fucked up around here. Oh, she gonna look at me like I'm short, you know. Everybody talking about kids. Everybody talking about how bad kids is. You know it's bad. But see, you can't say kids bad. I said, hey, these motherfuckers bad. <laughs> Sassy, talk his head, shaking his head. Talk to the hand, talk to the hand. Don't tell me all this shit. Uh. See, it ain't the kid, it's us. See, we some punk ass parents, see. <laughs> see, we the punk ass parents today. See, we, I need to go back to old school, because there ain't no grandmama no more. Ain't that a bitch? See, ain't no grandmama. Remember Big Mama? See, Big Mama gone. So you're a grandmama now, when you're 24. <laughs> Great grandmama, 36. Talking about I ain't babysitting. Shit. Shit. You know that, man. No, man, the kid bad. See, from back in the day, Big Mama. Big Mama was that old mother with that old flower dress on and those swollen ass ankles. <laughs> she had a wig on, be cocked to the side. She slid her feet when she walked, and she hummed. That's what I miss. Big Mom, you know you got your ass whooped, so you couldn't even talk when Big Mom was talking to grown folks. Remember that? When Big Mom was talking to somebody, you had to shut what they called the fuck up. If Big Mom was talking to somebody, she said, girl, you know, I went to the store. I got two tomatoes, some taters, some... Lettuce. No, you didn't, Big Mommy. Got and like I said, you are. Uh, when I got the motherfucker, she should knock the paws in your motherfucking ass. You know you hurt when you cry and you pause. You ever had a pause? When the motherfucker hit you in your throat, make your teeth click. You bite the back of your tongue. You can't cry. <laughs> When you cry like that, man, your soul is f***ed up. You hurt. My big mama used to come to school. She would never would tell you when she's going to come. Just pop the f*** up. And all of a sudden, somebody walked in the door, and everybody be whispering, Who mama that? Who mama that is? Who mama that is? You can always tell who mama was, because they be playing like they doing some work. Oh, that's your motherfucking mama now. I want to used to slap the shit at you <laughs> in the street. Remember how you used to get a whooping in the street? Now people get all in your business. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't say that. They got a leash on you at the airport. I see one with a leash on the kid. Come here. Come here. You're going too far. I wish I would put a chain on my goddamn hood. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move, motherfucker. 
You shouldn't do that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm out time. No, Carolina, I'm going to tell you something you got to pray for. <laughs> See, my mama tell you me and my wife been in the house walking around naked eating and everything. Shit get broke. I know who the fuck did it, you know. Now I got three new people in my damn house. I got my sister. See, we family. No, Carolina, we family. I'm going to talk to you. We family. I got my sister's children living with me now. I'm about to go crazy like a motherfucker around here, you know. See, my sister on drugs. I ain't ashamed to tell you. Some of your family members fucked up too around here. I ain't ashamed to tell you. But my brother called me, North Carolina. My brother said, he said, Matt, you got to come home, man. The court going to separate the kids. I said, no, you know, I, I can't have that. I can't have that. I said, I'm going to be there. Now, mind y'all, North Carolina, I know him, but I don't know him. You know what I'm talking about? I know the kids, but I don't know these motherfuckers, you know? Two, four, and six. Ooh, shit, come help me babysit these motherfuckers. I get there, I'm in court. The judge said the Mac family, I stood up, I said, yes, Your Honor, I'm part of the Mac family. He said, we're gonna separate the kids. I said, Your Honor, you mean separate like divide? He said, very good, Mr. Mack, very good. I said, you know what? I said, Jan, I can't allow that. I said, my brother and I, we're going to split custody. That must be turning his back on me, like he didn't say shit. <laughs> yeah, punk some of my bitch, see, you know, Kane killed Abel, you know what I mean? I said, Your Honor, I'm going to take the kid for six months, and my brother going to take the kid for six months. This punk some of my bitch, get up and walk the f out. <laughs> I ain't seen them since. If I ever seen them, I'm gonna fuck them up on sight. I'm gonna bust his head to the white meat. I'll slap all over. Y'all gonna read about it. Whenever I see this mother, it's gonna be a misunderstanding. There's gonna be some furniture moving around this mother. <laughs> I said, Young, I take the kid. Now I got these three, some of my bitch. Get my friends. That's what I wanna say, you know. These motherfuckers on my goddamn nerves. Y'all gotta pray for me. And that two-year-old, she the motherfucker, she the ring leader. This have been here before. She a shepherd for the devil, she worked for the devil. Then the six-year-old, my sister was really getting high with her because she don't talk, she don't say shit. All she do is look at your ass like this. Here. I told her ass the other day, I said, let me tell you something. If a fire break out, you better have a whistle or a horn or something. Because you're going to be a burner up motherfucker with me. I ain't got talent for no deaf music. Talk! Holla! No, I'm telling you like this. And the four-year-old here. Woo! Check it! <laughs> no, I ain't gonna need you on the no walk all like this here. <laughs> crying all the goddamn time. Quit crying, just a push-up or something. I came in the house the other day, man, at 1.30 in the morning. The two-year-old gonna send the Woo! downstairs for some milk and cookies. I'm going upstairs, he coming down, he gonna walk past me like I'm a visitor. I said, where you going? He said, to get some milk and cookies. He said it so funny, I wanted to hear it again. I said, get some what? He said, some milk and cookies. I told him, I said, man, it's too goddamn late for some damn cookies and milk, man. Take your punk ass upstairs and get some rest. That's how I talk to him. I got time for these badass kids. These kids are kill you. They gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill them. I can see y'all reading Jet and Ebony right now. I got he talking. It's a shame how Bernie fucked up those damn kids. I can't get no rest. They walk around the house three, four o'clock in the morning. Got their finger under my nose, seeing if I'm breathing, all that kind of shit. Man gonna sit up there, she gonna go upstairs. The two-year-old, I heard the two-year-old say, Where the cookies and shit? He gonna tell her, him downstairs. Who the f is him? Like I ain't got no name or something. Him downstairs. The two-year-old said, well, I go get this shit myself. She gonna walk her little bowling man down there.
I'm standing in the corner. I'm watching get a little step ladder. She gonna go on over the refrigerator. I said, what the fuck you doing? She looked at me, I'm gonna get some milk and cook. I said, didn't I tell your punk ass boy he couldn't have no goddamn cook? Are you listening when I tell the <laughs> kid he couldn't have no? <laughs> now I'm telling your short ass he can't have no goddamn milk cook. <laughs> get your punk ass up there you get fucked up around here. Oh, she gonna look at me like I'm short, you know. <laughs> no, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you wanna do something to me. So I backed up. And I told her, bust a move. Bust a move. And I'm out this mother. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was sketching sound. Um, they had to do some editing, I guess, because, um, you know, a lot of words that were said back then, um, I guess they feel that they couldn't reproduce because they were trying to go for a, a different audience. And uh, there's certain words that was edited out. That if you watch the original video on other people's channels, those words were said, but... Uh, in the context of what they were doing, they wanted to edit it, and I can fully understand it and appreciate it. So what do you guys think? Did you like it? Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the original uh, video of him doing it full blast. I'll post that as well. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And to your left will be our archive videos. Please come on back and enjoy us. I'll try to post more than one video a week. I've just been busy of late. And I hope to see you again, here again soon. Talk to you guys later. Peace.